Hello everyone. So today's shave, we're gonna go for a hardware today. And this time around is gonna be Kissen and Forst Hof. And uh, the one inside, I'll open and you guys will see. So let's open it up. There you go, the Kissen and Forst Hof. This time the open comb one. It's exactly the same handle as the normal with the close comb. By the way, let's see if there's anything inside. Yeah, there's a leaflet there, just like all of the Gissens, and a Timor blade. That's what we're gonna use. So, as I was saying, this is exactly the same handle as the closed comb one. The only difference is just the bottom of the head is open. And I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show my other, and you guys can see see it's exactly the same stainless steel handle top of the head is exactly the same it's just the bottom cap that changes one is open the other one is closed you guys know I love this one the closed one it always gives me brilliant shaves and it's one of the ones I advise for the beginners so I was really curious to see how the open comb performs so here we get it and that's what we're gonna try so I'm, I'm gonna put the blade straight away so it's ready There you go, loaded, the same design, no overhanging there, so lovely, I love this top of the head there, where you get a bit of a groove, hopefully it will show there, a bit of a groove there, that lets you hang on to the, the blade, but when you're shaving there's no overhanging at all, so perfect, love this design. And the other thing as well, for the price, this is stainless steel handle, which is just excellent. So let's go, put it back, now let's, you gotta have another thing to say, I got this one before anyone ever asks where I got it uh, because I broke my green one which I used to, to use all the time I've been looking for another one I can't find it so I got this one this is a um, candle glass uh, it's not a drinking glass or anything it's where you put the small uh, candles and I've been finding that they're excellent because they're not too big for the brushes so that's one of the reasons I always look for a candle glass um, and this is the one I found that is more transparent and that I like so that's what we're gonna use to soak up the brush. The brush we're gonna use is gonna be the Simpson Trafalgar T3. So see I don't fill it up and it'll be just excellent to soak it and it won't go all the way to the handle. So that's one of the reasons I use these smaller cups, the, uh, the candle cups basically. So let's soak it up. Now the brush is there soaking to try the Gissen. We're gonna go back to Westman, to Portugal, and one of my favorites, and this time around is gonna be a damage tour. This is a special soap for me, for many, many reasons. Uh, so I wanted to go back and it's kind of a fresh. Um, I'll talk about the set notes when we're, we're shaving and what a damage tour is during the, the shave. So now I'm gonna get ready, we're gonna wet my face, and we're gonna start the shave. There we go, so let's go, let's open it up and start uh, loading the brush and shaving. There you go, just washed it. One thing that I forgot to say, uh, when you're loading up Westman shaving soaps, um, don't press too much because they're really, really soft. Otherwise you overload and you spend the soap really, really quick. So they're really, really soft. So al almost, almost like a cream. So don't press too much. You don't need to bloom either. Small bit and it's good enough. And if you're bull leather, bull leather, you'll find out when you're scooping that it's really, really soft. So let's put it there to dry. Yeah. And the scent is already spreading all over. Lovely. So let's go. Let's keep leathering it. There we go. Loaded. Oop. Bit on my mouth. Ugh. Let's just wash it. I just love these soaps. Really easy to leather. Leather starts falling all over the place. Plenty of water. You guys can see just how good the leather is. Look. There you go. 
Lovely, lovely, lovely leather. Really hydrated and plenty of it there. And this scent, this scent is like a marine, earthy, fresh scent, kind of that way. I don't know how to explain. Actually, I have the scent notes there. Uh, rhubarb, lemon, sea salt, cut grass, damp earth, and vetiver. But uh, the thing is, um, to explain this, the, the first feeling I get every time I, I, I leather this is, is you feel that uh, sea salt straight away, but then there's an earth uh, I would say it's probably from the damped earth and then there's a bit of sweetness there as well uh, probably from the lemon and the, the, the rhubarb it's just it, it's it's not a normal scent and I, I, I just love that's one of the things that uh, I love about Westman all the ones I've tried from from Tiago he is very adventurous with his scents and there's some scents he does that you either love it or hate it but one thing is the base is excellent and it's always a new experience with it so love it so Wetted the, the blade there. Let's start the shave with a Gissen and Forsthoff open comb Timor razor. By the way, you can see, I already wet it, you can see that it says there, made in Germany, and you do feel it. So I'm really excited to try this one because I love the, the closed comb, really love the closed comb. So let's start the shave. The blade inside is a Timor, first use the one that came on the box. Let's go. First impression straight away, I have to say, way more aggressive, but doesn't feel, how can I explain this? It doesn't feel like, for example, the R41, which you do feel that it's gonna cut if you're not careful. Uh, this one actually feels more aggressive, more feel blade, but easy enough to, like, just like the closed comb, it's very easy to find the angle. Really lovely, I have to say, and this is just the, the first few passes there. Ooh, very efficient as well. My God, looks like BBS just on the first pass very very efficient wow so let's keep going just on this small pass i felt the difference let's let's keep going Wow, we're done the first pass. Very efficient, very, very efficient. Look, I'm gonna do the second pass. There's a few spots there that I missed here on the bottom and that are not BBS, but I'm gonna say even the mustache area, which is really hard and with the grain, it feels BBS. Only if I go against, then you feel a little bit there. Even across, if I go across, I barely feel any hairs. Really, really, really efficient, I have to say. Yeah, it's just this part here, which is actually my, uh, a bit complicated for me that I still still have stuff there yeah and if I do against that you feel otherwise I could be ready to go definitely one of those ones you can grab if you're in a hurry and you want the BBS and it's you feel the aggressiveness there you feel the blade but for an open comb is not the most aggressive I've tried but it's pretty efficient pretty pretty efficient really really nice I have to say so let's just get ready for a second pass I'm actually really really surprised um yeah even the feeling of it feels different than all the other open combs doesn't doesn't feel aggressive but not aggressive I don't know how to explain properly this so let's go let's just get ready for a second pass there we go dry my hands and let's get back to the brush yeah I have to say like if I'm in a hurry this is good enough to go pretty 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 efficient I could just go now really really efficient I have to say I'm really surprised well leveling too much already let's go let's leather for the second pass Still farming guys, still farming, look, really, really nice. Yeah, you don't need much on this one. I think I overloaded for a change, but you guys know how I am. But look, it's still forming, still forming, just lovely. So let's go. By the way, I'll talk a bit of the soap while I'm drying my hands and all this. Westman is made in Portugal by a guy called Tiago. This was my first one from them at the store. I told the story before, if you go and see my previous video where I'm reviewing this soap. Uh, the reason being a place where I grew up and one of the squares where I used to play had a statue of the store. Uh, Adam Ashtor is a representation of all the torments of the Portuguese sailors that were trying to circumnavigate Africa and it's depicted on the Lusíadas by Luís de Camões like a manifestation of uh, all the storms and the torments that would, they would have to face. Uh, that's what Adam Ashtor is. The reason I got it is because it reminded me of childhood and where I used to play near that statue. Uh, so that's the main reason I got this uh, and because it's from Portugal, from where I grew up. So that's it. That's that's my explanation of it but on the other hand the scent is just love it it's one of my favorite um, scents because it's 
fresh, but it reminds me of uh, sea and earth at the same time. And it has that sweetness there. I don't know how. This is something you would have to experience and try it because I don't think there's anything out there with the same kind of scent that I've tried anyway. And it's just, I love it, love it. So let's go. Second pass, Gissen and Forsthoff with a Timor Blade first use. Uh, I really don't need, a, I don't think I need this second pass that much. It's just basically this bottom part, but we'll do it as always. And uh, we'll talk in the end. Let's go. There you go, done, BBS. What more can I say? Really, really efficient, brilliant little razor. <laughs> I love it, love it. So let's go, let's see what we have left on the brush. There we go, let's get the brush and let's see what we have left. There we go, just lovely. Loads still there. Yeah, and this scent is just, I love it, love it. And a great base, great soap in every regard. So let's go, let's take this off. Another bit of waste as always. So let's go, let's take this off. There we go, now I'll just pet my face. And now let's get some witch hazel. There we go, lovely jubbly. Now let's let this dry. PBS guys, wow. Let this dry, I'm gonna wash all my stuff and I see you back for the post shave and the conclusions. See you in a bit. We're back, so I washed all my stuff. Let's go into the post shave. Post shave will be the rest of the set of the Adama Store by Westman. And we're gonna start with the balm, the way I like it. So let's go. Yeah, lovely. You feel more greenery on the palm, <sighs> less the marine. Yeah, me feel more the green. Say it's the green, yeah, the cut grass probably. And the dumped earth, that's what you feel more here on the palm. Wow, yeah, just love it. There you go, now let's get the splash. Lovely. Wow, just gorgeous. A bit more intense on the splash, the scent, same as the same as the soap, but a, a bit more intense and then you have that alcohol as well, which m makes my nose feel different. Yeah, no feedback by the way, at all, at all. So let's recap the shave and leave the razor for last. So we used all the set of Adama Store by Westman. We leathered it with the Trafalgar T3. For the set, I already talked about it. I love this scent, uh, marine, earthy, sweet scent. It's it's not a normal scent. I, I haven't um, smelt this scent anywhere else. I, I just love it, love it. I'm gonna recap the, the scent notes. Rhubarb, melon, sea salt, cut grass, damp earth, and vetiver. So as you guys can see, you have the sea salt there that gives it that marine. You have the rhubarb and the melon that it gives it the sweetness. And then that cut grass and the damp earth, which gives it a bit more earthy uh, kind of scent. Love it. So as for the brush, you guys already know, it's one of my favorite scents synthetics and price performance is just excellent. Now let's get into the start of the, the shave today. The Gissen and first half open comb Timor razor. Now I'm gonna take the other the closed comb. They look exactly the same in every way possible bar the top bottom cap which is open on this one. It still feels gentle. It still feels how can I explain this? It's an open comb with you feel the blade you feel that it's um, when you feel the blade you, you tend to think that it's a aggressive but actually I don't think it is it's actually it feels from all the the open combs I've tried it feels actually uh, mildish if I can call it that way but super 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 efficient I didn't feel that I was gonna cut myself with this one at all even though it's an open comb but the efficiency that's where I, I'm really surprised with it really really surprised it's super, super efficient. Excellent. BBS all over, two passes. Even on the first pass, I know for a fact I would have been ready to go. Not a bother. But uh, this problematic area here, around here, for me, I I always have to do a few pickups. But I, I did the second, uh, as you guys saw. Uh, it's just BBS all over. Excellent. The other thing, I love this design of the Gissons on both of them, because it has that small groove there that lets you grab the blade. And, and then when you're shaving, there's no overhanging, which is excellent. Now, 
other. Actually, if the close comb was already easy to do this, go under the nose. With this one, it's 10 times easier because you feel the blade so you know exactly where the blade is cutting. It's just excellent and it's very easy to go under the nose. You don't need to worry about under the ears because there's no overhanging. It's just excellent. Really, really nice. I love razors like, like this that are on a good price point. They're not expensive. They give you good shaves. And the other thing, this is special because it's stainless steel, which you don't find at this price point anywhere. I haven't seen it anywhere. Um, the only nitpick that someone, I don't, but someone might have is that it's very small. Uh, it's a small, small handle. For me, it could be ch chunkier. I would have preferred a bit chunkier, not bigger. A lot of people that I know prefer bigger handles. That's the only nitpick you would get with this one. But for the price point, you can't complain. Stainless steel, lovely, lovely razor. Really impressed with this one, I have to say. That's it. Oh, we used the blade. That is, I have their drying Timor blades. Uh, I have to say, I do love uh, these uh, blades. They're pretty sharp. Uh, every time I use them, I use them three times like I normally do. And even on the third use, they feel fine. They feel exactly like the first one. Um, I wouldn't compare it with a feather in terms of uh, aggressiveness or a kai, but they're pretty, pretty close. But for example, another one that is really close in terms of a uh, um, sharpness, like the Nasset or something. I find that this is a bit sturdier than the Nasset, for example. So not as flimsy as the, the Nasset and is as sharp as a Nasset. Uh, the only thing and the only nitpick I have with these blades in particular is the opposite of the razor. It's a price point. I think they're too expensive um, for what you're getting. Uh, you can get similar um, blades for a, a cheaper price. And this is nitpicking because you guys know that the blades are not that expensive. But this is one of the most expensive ones on the market uh, for what we are uh, getting. Um, that's the only nitpick, but they're really good. Now, that was our shave for today. Uh, really brilliant shave, great products all around. Uh, this razor was excellent. PBS shave, loved it. So that's it for me now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to put a like on it. And if you want to help the channel even more, there's my affiliate links down below. I hope to see us in the next one. Bye-bye. Ciao!